Hello everybody and welcome back to our Tampa Bay Buccaneer franchise here in Madden 17. We are in year 2, 2017, and ladies and gentlemen, the curse happened again. It happened again. Um, Basically, what happened? Hour and ten minute footage of the Bear game, it got erased. I went to go edit the F1 video for yesterday and all that and upload it and while it was uploading maybe a glitch happened in the Elgato, I don't know, but I came back to the Elgato, opened it up, the footage wasn't there. When did my recycle bin on my laptop wasn't there. Restarted, closed, opened everything again, wasn't there. So guys, the Elgato had a glitch and maybe that's a sign that it's trying to tell me that we're bad because you're going to see in a minute the score of the game. And it's probably a good thing that it uh, glitched out. But this is just a quick, quick update on the franchise. And yeah, we lost 34-16. But we can't just leave it at that. We have to go in detail as much as it hurts us. Division standings update. Falcons, Carolina 2-1. We actually play Carolina um, coming up this week. So that's a big game for us. New Orleans is still winless, so we're still not last in the division. And after last year, that's all you really can ask for. So, with that said, let's just go ahead and take a look at this Bears game in detail. I know you guys want to, but it, I, it was a bad game. We've given up 34 our past two games. Quick notes, offensive yards game, we had 13 more than the Bears. They beat us on rush, we beat them on pass. We beat them on first downs, punt returns, kick returns, total yards gained. However, they beat us on turnovers, and that's because James Winston threw three interceptions. His first game back from being injured. Third down conversions, they had eight of them. We could not cover. We had one fourth down conversion. We went one for one. Red zone offensive percentage, they were perfect every single possession. We were 60%. They had two touchdown offensive touch or two red zone touchdowns. So did we, but we had one field goal to their zero. They had eight penalty yards. We had 15 and the time of possession, 30 minutes, 44 seconds for Chicago, 29-16 for Tampa Bay. So passing, Ryan Mallett led the Bears to a win, 294 yards, 106.7 QBR, three touchdowns, one INT. His longest was 59. He got sacked seven times, and he went 21 for 34, completing 61% passes. For Winston, he completed he completed 68% of his passes, 33 for 48. He got sacked six times. His longest was 42. He had three interceptions, one touchdown, so just literally the opposite of Ryan Malley, who I don't know why he's starting, but Chicago has him starting, and hey, they're winning games. They're two and one. Winston also had 303 yards on a 66.5 QBR. For rushing, Jerome Dillon for the Bears led the way 27 attempts, 56 yards. He averaged 2.1 yards to carry. He did have one fumble and one broken tackle. Yards after contact, 31. For Doug Martin, it was the way for the Buccaneers. 11 attempts, 27 yards, averaged 2.5 per carry. He had one touchdown, four broken tackles. And he had 12 yards after a contact. For receiving, let's start with the Bears. Kevin White, when he killed us, he definitely killed us. Eight catches, 84 yards, but he averaged 10 and a half a catch. It just They used him every third down, it seemed like. He had 20 for his longest reception, and he had 16 run after catch, run after catch. He averaged two yards. Then Nigel Turner came up, four catches, a buck seven, one touchdown, 26.8 yards, a catch. CJ Fedorowicz from Houston to Chicago, four catches, 53 yards, two touchdowns. They were both inside our own 15, and he had 13.3 average. Alshon Jeffrey, yeah, he's still in Chicago, two catches, 19 yards, and that's all he did. For the Buccaneers... Doug Martin led the way, 10 catches, 54 yards. Austin Severian Jenkins had the only touchdown for Tampa Bay on 8 catches, 106 yards. He averaged 
Mike Evans, 8 catches, 82 yards. Marcus Colston, 4 for 47. Russell Shepard, 2 for 15. And then our fullback here, Small, 1 for negative 1. It just was not a good day. The only thing we really seemed to win were the field goals. And Roberto Aguayo out of FSC went 1 for 1 from 29 out. And he also went 1 for 1 on extra points. But the only thing we could seem to win still wasn't good enough. Robbie, good to go, gold leg, the golden boot himself. Two for two on field goals, as long as was from 53. And then he also had four for four on extra points. So, guys, this was a very quick update. I'm sorry about the footage being lost. This is probably a better way to break the ice than to uh, watch it unfold in a video. But, guys, hopefully you... Hopefully you get to see the Buccaneers win a game again this year because it started really great with the Packers. And now we've just given up 34 in our last two. We've gotten outscored 36 to 68 in our last two. We'll look to turn that around against the Panthers. And then we have the 49ers and then the Falcons Panthers. And that will end the first half of our season. So big games coming up, guys. Thank you for watching this quick update of Tampa Bay football here on JT Plays. If you're new, be sure to subscribe. Welcome to the Gamers Club if you are already subscribed and I will see you guys later.